Hey guys, welcome back to the Migo YouTube channel. A really interesting light to review today. It's a brand new release by Photon Tech. It's called the SQ300 Pro. And it's a bit unusual in its design in that it's got these three concentric square LED bars around the fixture. And it'll be interesting to see um, how this pans out in terms of what sort of light distribution it gives. Um, does having no LEDs in the center give it a better light spread. It is a um, very highly requested light, or at least it's um, the European brand Lumatech has been out for some while. It's called the ATS. It's a very similar light to this. So we've been requested for a long time. I'm really fascinated to see how it does in the test. The Photon Tech SQ300 Pro comes very nicely packaged, very robustly packaged. Just pull it straight out of the box. No assembly required. Just add on the hangers, clip it on. That's pretty much it. Got a really nice long power cable. It's about three and a half meters long, so about 10 foot plus long. Very high quality. So as the name suggests, it's a, it's a 300 watt light. She draws 315 watts from the wall and is suited for a three and a half foot by three and a half foot or one meter by one meter grow area. So we set it up in the test area. First thing I did was just looked at the spectrum. As you can see, it's got a cool white spectrum with added red LEDs for high efficiency and some added far red also to broaden that spectrum up to about 750 nanometers. In the test, I hung it and optimized it um, in terms of hanging height. Found that hanging height by raising and lowering the light until the center measurement was in and around a thousand micromoles, which is a good power intensity level, um, as high as possible without likely to cause any stress on the plants. I then took the um, power measurements. So I used the Apogee SQ500 power sensor and measured in a grid across the entire um, test area, which represents the plant canopy. And that's to determine the total power output from the light. The average power measured 633 micromoles across the test area, and that resulted in a system efficiency and divided the total power by the 315 watts consumed for system efficiency of 2.02 .02 micromoles per watt. It's a good result for a light of this size. Just as interesting is the light spread itself. You can see on the power chart that the form of this light, so the concentric squares with no LEDs in the center, allowed the light to be hung a little bit lower than, than normally possible, and also minimized the hotspot in the center and enabled a better spread all across the plant canopy. This is another really high quality light fixture from Photon Tech. We've become used to the quality of their design and their build and performance. It's got all the features that you'd want. You know, it's got the long power cable, LEDs are protected, full spectrum and good efficiency, performance and spread. I'm really happy to recommend this light. If you'd like to support the channel uh, and you're interested in buying this light, please use the link in the description below to get a 5% discount. Just enter the code MIGRO in the, uh, in the website when you're purchasing it. I've also put the link down below to the European equivalent the Lumatech ATS range, if you'd like to uh, have a look at that there. Unfortunately, you don't have a discount code for that. Really interesting light. Again, delighted to be um, recommending the Photon Tech uh, SQ300. Um, looking forward to your comments and suggestions on this test and uh, on the light. Please leave them in the comment section below and take care.